Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at girls reveal girl codes they follow. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. If there's a red spot on her pants, you tell her discreetly and immediately. Oh yeah. True, that's true. Even if you're not friends with them, even if you hate them, you should still tell them this. <laughs> Lipstick on their teeth, eyeliner in the corner of their eye, skirt tucked into pantyhose. You let them know without making a huge deal about it. Oh, true. Yeah, I would want people to tell me this too. Like, especially having something in your teeth and then finding out you had something in your teeth and no one telling you. That's the worst, honestly. And then you think about all the times where you have talked to someone and why no one told you and who you talked to. <laughs> Man. When I was in college, I was walking uphill to class from my apartment with about a dozen people walking behind me. A girl suddenly appeared and pulled me aside and before she even opened her mouth, I was like, is my dress tucked into my tights? She nods. I try to laugh it off while untucking my skirt and wishing the earth would open up and swallow me whole and we continue on our way. The same thing happened again later that same day. Oh my gosh, why? Why does it keep happening? You help other women who seem to be in trouble. When I was a teenager, my mum and I went to Walmart to get groceries. We split up to save time and a man started stalking me through the aisles. I finally got out to a main area and saw a lady with two kids, walked right up to her and stood as close as possible. She was confused, but when I made a motion at the guy, she understood. She loudly thanked me for getting the milk and called me honey, also referred to her son as my brother. Once the guy left, she stayed with me until I saw my mom, and then stayed where she was until I got to my mom and motioned that I was okay. That lady deserves an award for helping me that day. <sighs> yeah, this, this. This is the girl code, okay? Girl saving girls, amazing. Always give each other tampons and pads when needed. <laughs> I feel like this is such a common one where you can just ask a girl that you don't know for pads and tampons because girls just know, you know, they just know. <laughs> if a woman comes up to you and acts like she's your best friend, play along. She's probably trying to shake a douche. Yes, this one, this one. Person one, I like your dress. Person two, thanks, it has pockets. Display said pockets. If your dress has pockets, you let them know. And then you tell them where they can buy the same dress. Yes, amazing. After a few drinks, every girl in the bathroom is your best friend. <laughs> girls look after girls in the bathroom. That's so cute. If another girl comes over to you and pretends to know you, no questions asked. We've been friends for 30 years and haven't seen each other in five. And always give a tampon if you have one and someone needs one. Mm-hmm. The thing is, because I've never been in a situation where I have to pretend to know someone, I feel like if someone did this to me, I'll be confused, you know? <laughs> like, it wouldn't click in my mind first, but then if they tell me what's going on, then I'll know. Because at first I'll be like, wait, do I, do I, do I really know you? Like, am I that forgetful? If you're wearing a hair tie on your wrist and someone asks for a hair tie, you give it to them and accept that you likely would never see it again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes this is so sad because you know the hair tie on your wrist is the only one that you have <laughs> and that you've been keeping up for a very long time and you have memories now, you know, but then you can't say no because they can clearly see the hair tie on your wrist. <sighs> and you just have to give it to them. You just have to give your hair tie baby to them. <laughs> it's the girl code, okay? If your friend gets back with her bad ex, you always support your friend, but you also tell her the truth and say if the relationship is toxic. Yeah. That's the thing though, even though you say all that, they still get back together. <laughs> if you walk into the bathroom and the girl is in there being quiet, you do your business and leave as quickly as you can. Girl is trying to poop. <laughs> I feel like this has happened to so many people, like they just don't want to poop when someone is in the bathroom, you know. Please leave because I don't want you to hear the bloop in the water. If she's dating a known abuser, take turns getting her out of the house. Play cards, shop for shoes, ask her to help you lay out the garden, make pie. Never broach the subject yourself. Just make sure she knows she's welcome anytime, day or night, with or without advance notice. This is so nice. I agree. I do feel like you have to go slowly with these kind of things because sometimes people are really attached to their partners even when they know the partner isn't being good. 
to them. So I guess sometimes you just let them tell you kind of thing, you know, like slowly. This one especially applies to college girls. If you're at a party and you see a girl doing something she might regret the next day due to drinking way too much, you go over there and make sure she's okay. I love how these are so wholesome, honestly. As far as I've ever seen, every girl knows the look. The look is a look a girl gets on her face when she's in a situation that she doesn't want to be in. It's part help me and part get me out of here. When you see this look, you step in. Doesn't matter if you know the girl or not. I feel like I would know what this look is when I look at another girl, but like I don't know if I could make that look, <laughs> you know? The five minute rule. If it can be fixed in five minutes or less, tell her. If it can't bloat situation, then there's no need to say anything because it will literally only make her feel bad. <gasps> I've never heard about this before. Five minute rule. Okay, so fix your hair, fix your makeup kind of thing. Fix your skirt. Fix your... Yeah. Hmm, okay. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.